I'm Rob Cresswell, I work for Cisco Systems and I've been, uh, been working on the Horizon project for the last few years and that's the dashboard for OpenStack. Well, we'll talk about today a little bit about uh, the translation check side that we have in our translation team. I'm involved in this project since 2015. Uh, as an explanation, the translation check site is more or less a normal OpenStack installation with a Horizon dashboard. And um, if you have translatable things in our translation platform named uh, Zalada, there is a link to the translation check site. If you're translating things in the translation platform, it syncs to the translation check site. You can see um, um, how it's good. Look uh, in, in, in the destination of the Horizon dashboard. And we started in uh, 2015 with this project. Um, we used uh, DevStack as an uh, environment to do this. And this works um, for a long time, but this was not um, doable for a um, permanent installation. Because DevStack is only for uh, one time installation, and you have this installation again and again. And for our the, our our the requirements are you need an environment um, what is suitable for the time. This means you have all the um, systems are running, you can uh, do the, the, the server on server and all the services and then change the office stack and the board, uh, so um, yeah, I just want to talk briefly about the, how, how Horizon plugs into this stuff. So Horizon's one of the main consumers of um, the internationalization project's uh, translated strings. So um, the way this currently works is that the uh, OpenStack infrastructure proposes a uh, daily translation sync to Horizon. Um, this means that Horizon permanently has a, a list of fairly up-to-date, you know, within 24 hours, a uh, copy of the translated strings from it. From, uh, pulled down from Zenata. Um, this is obviously useful for deployments, but it isn't terribly useful for the translators who are trying to get their work done and check it um, as they go. So we um, built on top of the existing uh, management commands to add another command that um, pulls down the translations, um, like the current translations from Zenata, um, which means that we can then sync and, and, and render those in Horizon immediately. Um, so this is much more useful and, and much kind of quicker feedback for the uh, for the translation guys because they can get everything done, um, push their translations immediately, and then check that they are correct in the context in which they use it within Horizon. Um, so now we maintain that code within the Horizon code base. So that was a pretty useful thing to get done kind of across different projects. So we maintain that part of the code. The, the translation team are maintaining Zenato, and then Andy's going to talk a bit about what Ansible uh, does with this. Yeah. So around the uh at the last PTT, actually, we had a, a conversation around uh, setting up um, a deployment that would be long-lived for the translations um, and for the purposes of continually updating the translations throughout the cycle so that the translations team could you know, continue to, to see what the changes that are required, look at their changes in real time um, and updates, and, and just continue to work through it. Um, and OpenStack Ansible, we use containers um, to, to deploy all the services. And this is really a good use case uh, for that because it means that we can have a, a full deployment that's going to live throughout the lifetime of the cycle with each of the services segregated into a container, including Horizon itself. Um, and originally, uh, the way the, the check site was set up, um, it, it used to pull all the, all the translations from Tenata and then try uh, like compile them and set them up, and it was quite a complicated process. So using the work that Rob and the rest of the Horizon team did, uh, we were able to just interface directly with uh, the command that is set up in Horizon, and it literally just update the translation site without us really having to do much. Um, and so uh, we're now at the point where we'll have a, a fully operational translations check site that can be updated with a simple Ansible command that literally just runs and, and pulls the latest catalog and updates it straight away. Um, and so I think 
the, that transition is going to be able to use this through the next cycle in a really positive way. I think also this was a very good work in the last uh, cycle. We started maybe in Boston for the, uh, for the main work and uh, it's a good purpose. We tested this in the last time in court and I think now we are on the point to do um, a well Yeah, I think it's a, it's a testament to the community within OpenStack. Um, we had some problems to solve and, and none of us knew the full picture, um, but, but through Working with the community, we've been able to get uh, Horizon to, to fix up the you know their command line to, to get the translations, um, and we were obviously able to just use that and do the deployment. Um, and, and between uh, the three teams, we've, we've been able to get get this going reasonably quickly, I'd say, with you know, I'd say minimal effort to, to be there. Yeah. Um, so just a little bit to you know, if, if you want to kind of look more into this and, and, and contribute and get a bit more involved. Um, you can check out any, I'll let these guys talk about their own projects, but the Horizon there at least, um, we have, we're active on the dev mailer, you can go to the OpenStack Horizon IRC channel, um, we have weekly meetings on Wednesdays, um, but yeah, you know, get involved, come and chat to us and help make Horizon a bit better. Yeah, pretty similarly, we have uh, meetings on uh, Thursdays, uh, we're in the OpenStack Ansible channel on Freenode, um, and uh, on the mailing list as well. Um, and if you're interested in deployments, um, if, you, if you work in operations and you're interested in getting involved in development and deployments, um, you know, it's, it's a really great place to start um, a deployment project, so you know, get in touch with us um, and, and let us know. There's also the IRC channel of uh, OpenStack uh, 18, also the mailing list you can join. And there's also the um, meetings every Thursday at different times in the morning or 